I wonder how much money it'll take for me to retire from my dividends. Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video today. And I wanna show you guys exactly how to retire from your dividends and your dividend portfolio. And the method I'm gonna show you here today, well, the equation I'm gonna show you is known as the 4% rule. And with this rule, with this equation, you'll know exactly how much money it's gonna take for you to retire off your dividends and your interest from your stock portfolios. And this is fairly simple. Your yearly expenses times 25 equals the amount of money you need to have throughout your savings accounts and your retirement accounts and your dividend portfolio and your growth portfolio and all this. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but first and foremost, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Matter of fact, while you're down there, might as well go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you already haven't done so, because we're trying to get to 400 by the end of the month. So let's see if we can do that. But anyway, guys, so it's pretty much every dividend investor's dream. This is the whole goal of dividend investing is to retire from your dividends, retire on your dividends and basically retire on your portfolio. That's basically the American dream. That's what everyone who who is investing is pretty much wanting to do, right? Make more money or retire on invest on retire on your investments. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, so think of it like this. If you need 4% of your entire investment account to live off your div to live off your investment account every year, to live off your dividends or your interest or whatever it may be every year. So think of it like this. In order to spend $40,000 a year, you would need $1 million in a portfolio growing at 4% only 4%. Now that's fairly easy to get, especially when we know that the stock market can grow anywhere from 6 to 10%, sometimes more, sometimes less. But we know that we can definitely gain more than 4% even on a downtrending year. So 4% of $1 million is $40,000. And I know that's just the very basics, but let's get, let's dig into it a little deeper. So let's say that it takes you $2,000 a month to pay all your expenses. That's everything. That's food, rent, bills, gas, insurance, everything is only $2,000. So once you find your monthly expenses, you're going to multiply that by 12 for your yearly expenses. So two times 12 is what? 24,000. So if your monthly expenses is 2,000, then that your yearly expenses is gonna be 24,000. <laughs> Give or take here or there, it may be a little bit more at the end of the year, depending on if you know how you have yearly payments or monthly payments. Um, but let's say everything, all the math works out correctly and you're doing 2,000 a month, 24,000 a year. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna multiply that by 25. So. 24,000 times 25 is $600,000. So in order for you to retire today, you would need $600,000. And why you ask? Because 4% of $600,000 is $24,000 a year. It's $24,000. So as long as your rate is growing at 4%, you can pull out $24,000. But we do know that the stock market generally generally grows more than 20 uh, more than 4% a year, right? So we know that we'd probably be making more than that, especially with the dividends we have coming in with our capital gains on top of that, we'll most likely be making more than 4% a year. So once you have your 25 times your monthly expenses, I'm sorry, once you have your 25 times your yearly expenses, which is $600,000 for someone who pays $24,000 a year for their monthly expenses. I mean, yearly expenses, <laughs> I'm sorry. So you pay 2,000 a month, which is 24,000 a year. So you gotta have $600,000 in your retirement account. Now, when you're gaining your interest, obviously it compounds daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, all of that. So two things can happen. You can either take the 24,000 out in a lump sum or you could take 2,000 out every month. Now, if you withdraw 2,000 every month instead of the 24,000 uh, 
at the beginning of the year, then you would still be able to gain interest on the rest of that year's money that you're supposed to be pulling out. So on the rest of that 4%, you're still be gaining interest on. Instead of pulling that 24,000 out at the beginning of the year, if you only pull 2,000 out every month to spend, then you're gaining interest on interest, compounding, right? Which you would still be doing anyway, but now you're gaining interest on more money, which is obviously what you want to do. And that's only at 4%. So if we're gaining more than that, let's figure out exactly what it'll be. So let's say you have your account of $600,000. You withdraw 24,000 from that. What does that leave us with? $576,000, right? Now, that's after one year. Now, let's see that let's say that whole year you make 6% on the stock market, which is generally more conservative, more lower. Let's say we're not gaining 10, 12%, we're only gaining 6% on your portfolio with your dividends and your gains. So that means you started with 600,000, which dropped down to 576,000 because you withdrew one year's worth of expenses. 576,000 times 6% would be $610,560. So we're actually over our principal if we gain more than just the 4% a year. Now, obviously at this point, we can take more out the next year, but let's say we stick to the only 24,000 a year. Let's say we take the 24,000 out again. <laughs> Instead of the 576,000 at, at the beginning of January the first year, the second year we're gonna have $586,650. Now, let's say we keep it at that, we continue to do it like that. The third year you're gonna have, let's say you gain another 6% that year. So two years in a row you gain 6% which the first year after 6%, you were actually over your initial investment. Second year, let's see, it's gonna be $621,753.60. So even pulling out your entire 4% at the beginning of the year, if you're gaining more than 4%, you're still gonna be more, you're gonna be better off at the end of the year because you're gaining more than that 4%. Once you start gaining more than the 4%, it will grow and grow and grow even higher if you just taken out the, the initial 4% you need to. At this point, you can take out a little more. So that would mean the fourth year, instead of taking 4%, you would take the 4% plus another 2%. And that would bring you back down to the original even area, but you would still have more money in your investment account. Now guys, this is the easiest and simplest way to figure out and calculate how much money you are going to need to retire from your dividends and investment portfolio. Do the, Remember, do this equation and let me know in the comments below how much money you're going to need to retire um, off of your dividend and your growth portfolio. Uh, so it's your, you got to figure out your monthly income, I'm sorry, you got to figure out your monthly expenses. Multiply that by 12 for your yearly expenses, then multiply that by 25, and that's how much money you're gonna need to retire at the 4% rule. So, let me know in the comments below how much money you guys are gonna need to retire. And if you found this uh, helpful, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps out this channel more than you guys know. And once again, I appreciate y'all for getting me over 300 subs by the end of January. Let's see if we can hit 400 subs by the end of February, guys. I believe we can do it. I have faith in y'all and I have faith in this channel. So um, if this was helpful, like I said, smash the like button, leave a comment. And if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that red subscribe button because we're constantly dropping knowledge for y'all and we just wanna help y'all and I wanna help you guys grow. I'm here to teach y'all about financial uh, freedom, financial enlightenment, and all of that good stuff. But guys, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you have to do is click one of these videos. But all right, guys, peace. I'm out.